My name is Mark Johnson. I had the fortune of being John Sheshig's head baseball coach here at Texas A&M during his tenure as a student as well as a player. Outstanding numbers, outstanding stats, outstanding haul. Yeah, he's uh, uh, was twice uh, named Big 12 um, All Conference, and but all those things are they're kind of on the sideline a little bit for John Sheshig. John was unique from the start uh, as we went in the recruiting process, and I visited in the home. Uh, I knew John's father had passed away when he was five years old, but he was a baseball player, so I wanted to find out a little bit more about uh, his dad and their response to him. And, of course, John was very proud of his dad and Judy, his jewel of a mother, one of the all-time single-parent families I ever had the chance to, to work with their young people. But she told me uh, you know, about his playing. He was from Lovington High School, and I was from New Mexico as well. And I asked when he graduated. He said graduated in 1963 at Lovington High School. And I graduated in 1963 as well. And we played Lovington in the state tournament. And so it's kind of, I started to kind of put this thing together. And I told Judy, I said, you know, we played them in the state tournament. So when I got home late that night, about 1 o'clock in the morning, I went up in the attic with my flashlight, got a box out of all the, all the stuff, and um, found the picture I was looking for, and it was the all-tournament team. And standing next to me was a guy named Sheshik. It was unbelievable. 24 hours later, I get the picture to uh, Judy, and John decides he wants to be an Aggie. And I don't know if that had anything to do with anything, but it started a greater relationship that I got to have with John Sheshik, and he got to have with this university, uh, and as well as baseball, the baseball community. He separated himself as one of the best all-time leaders I've ever had. Probably in my 41 years of coaching, he would be in the top three leaders uh, that I've ever had. And going with that leadership was loyalty. He was very loyal uh, to uh, his teammates, to his university, to his high school. Uh, he was always talking about Dobie High School, whether it was his junior year, senior year, he would look over at uh, Truett and say, hey, did you hear how Dobie did against Elkins? Because we had a bunch of Houston guys, and, and it, it was just constant, his loyalty to, to his people and to his accountability one to another. But outstanding leader, had the talent. He dreamed like a lot of people, but he dreamed big. And then he made it happen. He, he dreamed the big dreams. Uh, but for some reason, he could pull it off, and he's done that. If you look at his career, uh, he, everywhere he's been, he's won championships. You say, geez, he was around a lot of good people, and he was. But he was part of it, and I'm sure as he was part of the Texas A&M championship runs, he was also part of the Cape Cod League and part of the uh, Houston the high schools and, and all the places he played. Very special in that regard. So he, he holds a lot, of, a lot of special places in my heart because of his leadership talent and what he did. He lit a light, and people would get illuminated. The whole team would illuminate around him. Uh, just a special quality. You can't get it in a book. You can't get it in a leadership class. He just has it. So it's my honor at this time to introduce the inductee for the 2015 Texas A&M Hall of Fame, John Sheshik.